because of this immense uh, social uh, awareness and nervousness. Now Zen breaks that up, only it does it in a way that is, has high artistry to it. The people who practice Zen suddenly got an eye for the beauty of the ordinary. There were two reasons for this. One was that they became fascinated with what happened spontaneously, what pattern a brush would make when handled roughly and the hairlines were shown. They also, because they practiced Sazen, which is sitting quietly, not thinking of anything special, but having a completely open mind. That puts you into a state where you get much better eyes and ears than you ordinarily have. And you start really seeing things. So you know that famous haiku poem, the old pond, a frog jumps in, plop. In Japanese, that plop is mizu no otto, sound of the water. And there's another poem just like it. In the dark forest, a berry drops, the sound of the water. But somebody suddenly realized, you see, just the sound of the water is, is marvelous. That's all. Or they found that um, they kept getting in very, very cheap Korean rice bowls. The poorest, cheapest kind for peasants to eat out of. And suddenly it struck one of these Zen masters that that was an incomparably beautiful object. Nobody had seen this before. They also had the simplest wooden ladles, uh, bamboo and then a stick in it for use in the kitchen. And one day somebody noticed that this ordinary everyday kitchen utensil was just lovely. And so in the same way they found that it was quite as satisfactory to listen to the kettle boiling as to listen to an elaborate concert. So what did they do? They started through particularly a man called Senna Rikyu to give parties for very small get, few guests in shacks, little huts in the garden made of uh, very primitive materials such as mud walls and where they would go and sit and out of the simplest utensils carefully chosen by a superb uh, artist they would simply sit and enjoy the uncomplicated life. And so was born the tea ceremony. Now look at that, you see, in the historical context. That's terribly important. It was a going back to the primitive after people were sick of too much civilization. And yet, it was going on to the primitive rather than back because the people who selected all those things they knew they knew the whole tradition of their civilization their culture they weren't barbarians once upon a time then then you see when this became the rage Rikyu became uh, attached to the court. The shogun had tea with the Rikyu. And everybody started getting digging tea ceremony. And in due course, the whole thing became awful. <laughs> because uh, what's happened today is this. Tea ceremony is essentially something uh, to enjoy. And there are a few men left who know how to serve tea ceremony. 
and it's an extremely congenial, quiet get-together of easy conversation, simple and unostentatious manners, and really lovely things to look at.